How's it going, everybody? Dear Kurtenbach here in the East Bay. The Warriors just beat the Houston Rockets 106 104. I got three things off of tonight's game. Number one, it just felt good. It was like a playoff game in March. I could watch that time and time again. These two teams both wanted it, and the Warriors brought their A game tonight. It was good energy, good focus. And that's what was necessary against a team like the Rockets, who had won nine straight games going into Wednesday night's contest. But man, you just have to feel solid about this team's chances come the playoffs after a game like that. Now, the question, of course, is the same question we had after we said that following the game against Denver last Friday. Can they keep it up? Against Denver, they came back, lost to the Suns on Sunday. All that positive momentum went away. Good positive mo momentum off of this game, and they cannot let down under any circumstances because Saturday, their next game, they're playing the Oklahoma City Thunder, another Western Conference rival. But again, you have to feel good about the way the Warriors played in this contest, especially considering Kevin Durant was out of the game, and that it wasn't always going to go their way. The officiating was certainly on one side of the court, and it was favoring the home team. Warriors come through, fight through some adversity, as much as I hate that word, it did happen on Wednesday night, uh, fend off a late Rockets run, get the win, get back into a good mood, a good groove. And again, let's see what happens come Saturday when they play the Oklahoma City Thunder in Oklahoma. Second thing, second thing off of this one, uh, big changes for the Warriors in this game. I mentioned before Durant was out uh, and the Warriors switched up their rotations a bit. And they also switched up the basic offense. And the basic offense in this case with Durant out of the lineup ran through DeMarcus Cousins. And all DeMarcus Cousins did was have his best game as a Warrior far and away. Warriors fed him early. He was distributing the ball with expertise from the high post, the low post, and he was putting it up. He was taking on two, three guys at a time in the low post. It's a kind of center play that we have not seen before with the Golden State Warriors, not during this dynastic run. And it's the kind of stuff that we hadn't seen out of DeMarcus Cousins yet as a warrior. Clearly he is getting healthier. This is the kind of stuff we saw flashes of in prior weeks. It was the entire game. Cousins was the best player on the court for the Warriors tonight, and, and that's something I don't think we can say outside of one or two games very early on when teams didn't exactly know what they were getting with a rejuvenated or back in the lineup, DeMarcus Cousins. Cousins goes for 27, 8, and 7, but the thing that stood out to me most was his outstanding defensive game. So before this contest, I mentioned that this was going to be a huge test for Cousins. I said that a couple of weeks back when the Warriors played the Rockets the last time, but then James Harden didn't play in that game. James Harden played tonight, Chris Paul played tonight, and by my count, for an offense in the Rockets that really only has one mode, or they want to go to one play, which is that high pick and roll and put the weakest defender in that action, uh, the Rockets only isolated against DeMarcus Cousins nine times. They did it early. But Cousins stood his ground. He was excellent in that high pick and roll. Certainly exceeded my expectations in that. Team defense around him was rock solid. And the Rockets eventually just gave up on it. By my count, Rockets targeted him nine times in high pick and roll. Way fewer um, times than I thought would, would actually happen in this game. I was expecting 20, 20 plus. Um, nine times, Rock, Rockets get nine points, including free throws. And again, they just they faded it away. In fact, they wanted to target Stephen Curry more often down the stretch. And Stephen Curry really did a great job in that regard. But by far the best game out of DeMarcus Cousins in this contest. And, and if the Warriors can take that play it through Cousins mode and get Kevin Durant involved in that, oh boy, it's over for the rest of the NBA because this was the first time it felt like Cousins was part of the Warriors' basic groove. There were a lot of 2015 vibes in this game, if I'm being totally honest. The Warriors without Durant playing with a lot of joy. I don't think that there's a direct correlation there, but it'll be interesting to see what happens when Durant gets back into the fold because we've talked before about the kind of existential crisis that goes on between the Warriors when Durant and Curry are playing together. Do they go for the egalitarian joy that Curry brings? Do they go for that ruthless, hyper-effective isolation game that Durant often brings? Boogie might be the bridge in the same way that Klay Thompson has been the bridge before, except Boogie can do a lot more stuff with the ball in his hands. Getting it done on the perimeter, getting it done in the post, getting it done in the passing game. It was a really exceptional performance to watch. And if this is a sign of things to come, again, I just don't know who's going to compete with that. Third thing, and it's got to be fast, I just want to give some shouts to some players that I thought were uh, really good in this game. And none of them particularly stood out enough to get the full third point, but everyone needs to be mentioned in the sense that the starters were minus eight in this game and the bench players were plus 18. Um, 
two starters that did well, and obviously the Warriors won, so there were plenty of those, but two other starters I want to mention. Clay Thompson was fantastic. He had 30 points, and he really helped carry the load scoring uh, with those second units. Cousins was, again, the key in those second units, uh, but it, Clay Thompson hit a couple of really tough shots over Chris Paul that I thought were hyper, hyper impressive. Uh, Andre Iguodala gets the start in this game, and he is just so damn good. It, it's annoying. You can't look at the box score and say anything about Andre Iguodala's game. In fact, you would look at it and you would presume he had a bad game, but he had anything but a bad game. He is so competent. He is so reliable. The Warriors were just simply better when he was on the court. Ignore the statistics. What an outstanding player. It's time to start giving Andre Iguodala the respect that he deserves because he has been absolutely fantastic since even before Christmas. I think since Thanksgiving, which is quite saying something. Um, and then two players off the bench that, that need to get shouted out here. Uh, Alfonso McKinney was in foul trouble early, did not play very well early, but he had a big three in this game, and I thought he was really good down the stretch. A lot of energy, excellent offensive rebounding. The Warriors beat the Rockets on the glass, and that was a huge reason behind them winning this game. And Alfonso McKinney played a nice role in that. He, he just broke some stuff up, and, and that's a really positive thing that he can bring. If he can do that and knock down an open shot when he gets the chance, he, he, he did one time. <laughs> if he could do that two or three times, uh, he, he's going to find himself back in the good graces of Steve Kerr, who dropped him out of the starting lineup and put Andre Iguodala back in, clearly signaling that this is go time for the Warriors. Uh, and then finally, uh, Kavon Looney. We don't need to say much more. Kavon Looney played against the Rockets, therefore Kavon Looney had a fantastic game. Great on the offensive glass, good on the defensive glass. And, and there is no better center in the NBA for my money against James Harden in that ridiculous gather step, four step, shoot it back, uh, three point isolation shot than Kavon Looney, who, who knows exactly how to play it. So smart, so deft. Uh, Kavon Looney's been really good for the Warriors. Uh, not particularly as of late, but on the whole, excellent for the Warriors this season. But frankly, you pay him for the four regular season games against the Houston Rockets and then whatever you're going to get in the playoffs. And I, I do think that given the way that these two teams play tonight, we're going to have to see seven more or fewer in the playoff series. And, and I'm looking forward to it because, again, this was the first game of that series tonight. Uh, no Kevin Durant, no problem for the Warriors. Let's see how they fare. It doesn't, I'm not getting a good vibe off of Durant coming back for that Oklahoma City game, but if he's in there, good. If he's not, the Warriors have shown that they can beat one of the best teams in the NBA without him, and, and they certainly showed something interesting and a new look on Wednesday night. Let's see what carries into Saturday, and we will talk after that.